Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, so uh, today uh, again we are actually uh, going to uh, discuss about the another uh, a very important shortcut keys uh, which are used in Excel. And uh, if you haven't watched the previous video which I uh, uploaded yesterday, then uh, let me tell you go to my YouTube channel and there you can uh, find this uh, must know shortcut keys the playlist uh, the category where I have uploaded this one video. This is the newly launched uh, playlist by me and because many of you have been uh, telling me that you know uh, when they work on the excel they are actually not aware of many of the shortcut keys so in order to bring the speed in your work you really uh, require to know uh, you know the basic and the very important shortcut keys so this is the video number one uh, you can see that and uh, in continuation to this we are going to upload uh, today we are going to record this video number two all right and the one thing more uh, you will be very glad to know that uh, now the website is prepared uh, last week I have actually uh, got this through and so I have launched my website excelvbalover.com as you can see just type in this address and you will be you know on this website so what you can do is uh, that's my number over there and in case if you're looking for some training go to this excel training training courses and uh, this will tell you a day on day program which uh, you know what exactly we teach in our training program so it's a uh, like you know 10 days of a program and uh, then uh, similarly if you want to watch excel videos uh, through this uh, website then these are the videos according to the category if you're looking for the charts conditional formatting or maybe if you're looking for the advanced formatting cells how you can customize the dates numbers you know all that stuff so dashboard making count family so i have almost covered all the topics and this is uh, still you know in the progress so maybe um, after after a week or so you will see you know uh, more videos on that but to start up with i think they are more than sufficient for you similarly you can go to, uh, go to this uh, vba training course and vba video tutorials so just go and check this out uh, we also uh, provide this training you know with these features so you can go through all these features like there is a two days of demo uh, free and then 100 percent money back guarantee on all the programs emi option is available and uh, we have the recorded facility as well for you so that you can always get back to your you know when you want to re revise the stuff you can ba uh, get back to those videos and you can watch them right so uh, this is all about it and in case if you're looking for some particular uh, topic let's say for example if you're looking for the summary function you want to understand then go and search and i'm sure you'll get it like so these are the links so that's how this website is prepared and similarly uh, you know this is my youtube channel uh, where you can actually see that you know conditional formatting we have uh, got four videos on that on the dashboard five videos on the water analysis four videos and similarly when you just uh, come down you see that you have videos on arrays very powerful functions in excel then you have charts and pivots 10 videos on the excel 66 videos on the vba 27 videos so i mean this process is never ending right this keep on increasing as the time passes because i'm getting a lot of emails from you guys and you know a lot of uh, likes as well on the videos so that's something which always pushes me you know to go ahead and you know uh, do something more for you guys so now today uh, let's now start this uh, and uh, so we are going to discuss these uh, important things how to insert the sheet uh, with the help of the shortcut key how to insert a new workbook uh, with the help of the new uh, uh, with the help of uh, the shortcut key uh, how to insert a chart very important how to insert a pivot again that's very important because <laughs> most of the time excel guys you know they work on the charts and the pivots because excel actually is an analytical you know software so you require a lot of analysis so do the do the, uh, do the analysis you require a lot of data digging and a lot of uh, you know the setting up the correct data pattern uh, cleaning the data and all that stuff so and then there is one more thing which we would see that today uh, i'm sure this might not be uh, you might not be aware of this option how to uh, go to the format cell directly using the shortcut key and then at the end we'll see that how you can actually delete the sheet so the very first uh, thing i want to tell you is the insert sheet so normally how do we insert the sheet right so this is how we insert the sheet we right click here and we say that insert right so this is going to insert a worksheet now your by default your selection will be will be on the excel worksheet so you just need to uh, click ok and this is how this sheet is going to be created right so and uh, again i can show you this step just click here insert right and then click ok 
so this sheet will be created but uh, generally as I said when you work on Excel in day-to-day -day, you know uh, this environment you really hate using you know these mouse and going to the ribbons and doing all you know those kind of a stuff right so what you can do is uh, we have a shortcut key which is called the shift plus F11 right so right now I'm going to press shift 11 and then you'll see what will happen see this sheet 7 sheet 8 sheet 9 sheet 10 and it is very quick see I can insert as many sheets I can you know want right so I will delete it and I'll tell you how you can delete it with the shortcut key but let's just get back to our sheet number one uh, so you see that you know I have created so many sheets within just second right so that's the shortcut key for you uh, in case if you want to insert the sheet press shift F 11 now how about inserting a new workbook right now you know uh, let me tell you a couple of ways maybe uh, you I you are not aware of that so that is going to be an additional uh, bonus for you so if you want to open a Excel workbook right the blank workbook so what you can do is you can go to your program and in this search program you can write Excel instead of going to the desktop and you know uh, opening a blank workbook so you can just click OK and this is how your new workbook will be opened up right so that is the first thing now if you go to the ribbon where uh, you click on this uh, you know file option and uh, let's say uh, you click here uh, open right let me just click here open now it will take you to your you know the environment where where is your actually excel file so this is used to basically open the existing files right now for example if I write here something like this uh, maybe let's say this this file and if I say open right this will say that the file name is incorrect so generally what happens that when you insert any file any workbook the first workbook which opens it is going to be book one like for example this workbook uh, before recording this video I just you know got it opened it's a fresh workbook I haven't even saved it so it is going to be book one now if I'm going to uh, uh, type in here in the programs Excel then you'll see that this is now going to be opened as a book two right I'm not sure whether you are able to see my title the workbook but it is now book 2 so similarly book 2 big book 3 book 4 and so on right so that's a uh, manual step which you can do or otherwise many of uh, uh, you know many Excel users they also go to this all programs and then you know they click on here uh, they come come down and you know in Microsoft Office uh, they click here Excel 2010 that's my Excel 2010 is my version right so they click here and the new workbook gets opened but I'm gonna tell you a shortcut key right uh, and this is going to save you save you a lot of time trust me so when we are going to press control N control key and N remember now plus sign is does not mean that we are going to use uh, three keys control plus and N plus is just a symbol you know is it is actually telling you that control and the second key N are used in combination right so you need to press control N now I'm going to press control N see what will happen you see this the book 2 is created now again I'm going to press control N now the book 3 is created again I'm going to press you know control N so you see that I have got this book 4 now open so let us just close them quickly that's my book 2 now so now I'm back on the book 1 so you see that this is so easy you know you just need to press control N and you will be going to insert the workbooks now let's come to the very important part uh, which is insert charts now to insert a chart first of all uh, let us create any dummy data so for example let me just say here a couple of names let's say and uh, let's have the marks in English right now you have this data with you right now you want to insert a chart so ensure that you should be on this any you know cell of this table and then normally how do you insert the chart you go to the insert and you do this you know and you create this chart 
right so the chart is going to be created so let us see how we can actually create this with the help of the shortcut key so I'm going to press now f first of all let me put my this cell uh, select any active cell of this data of this table and now let me press alt i h the moment you press alt i h this window will appear and you can press enter as well right so this is the chart which is going to be created for you so alt i h enter that's how you can create this by default the chart in case if you're looking for a different chart you have to select a different category first like this line graph you want to create and then you need to press ok right so this is so easy and this is so fast you don't have to go to the insert environment and you know you have to select on any of the chart right so the shortcut key is I beg your pardon I should have written it so it is going to be I right I'm writing it small so that you can understand it it's I and then H alt I H right if you're going to select outside this data and now you're going to press this option alt I H and now okay you see that the, this is going to be blank because now this will actually require data so now that's a different thing you know uh, I'm not here to tell you about the charts you can go and watch my uh, again another playlist uh, you know charts and pivots and there I have uh, discussed uh, some great strategies you know when you work on the very typical kind of a charts like waterfall charts uh, combination of charts so you can watch that but the purpose of our video is to know that what are the shortcut keys so how are you gonna insert the pivot now suppose now you want to insert the pivot so if you use this insert option again manually you go to the pivot you go this pivot table and then you know this data is selected and you press ok and this is how you know your pivot is going to be generated so what is the shortcut key so right now the shortcut key is alt D plus P so I'm going to click here alt D P and this will take me to this window which is you see that this is a little different you know from the previous window because this is a uh, Excel 2003 feature right so we we are still using it right Microsoft they haven't deactivated this which is a very good thing right so click on the next and this data will be selected and then now you can see next or maybe you know you can say uh, finish whatever way you want to say so this is how your chart will be created right uh, I'm sorry uh, not the chart but the pivot so that's how that's the shortcut key you need to remember this now let's come to the another part which is called the format cells so when I say format cells what I exactly mean is that when you go or want to f change the formatting of this cell what you do you do right click and then you go to the format cells right and then this window will pop up or if you don't use the mouse then perhaps you would be using this option under the home ribbon you go this go to this option uh, somewhere here we have this option called the format cells uh, yeah here sorry about that so because I don't use you know ribbon much so so here you can click on the format and this is how the window will pop up so what is the shortcut key for this so you can simply press control 1 see that you know how easy it is just select any cell and press control 1 you don't have to use any right click you don't have to go to the ribbon so just simply press control 1 right you'll go to the format window now let's come to the important part uh, how to delete the sheets now suppose you know we want to delete the uh, you know this sheet sheet 12 so how how will you do that simply right click on the sheet and likewise you pressed on the insert and the sheet was created uh, similarly you click on the delete and this sheet is going to be deleted right this is how it is going to be deleted right this is how it is going to be deleted so what if you want to delete them using shortcut key so press alt e l now I'm going to press alt e l you see sheets are getting deleted alt e l if I go slow alt e as you can see here in the upper upper part of this excel alt e and then l right so similarly alt e l now because we have some data here so it will give you the popper do you want to permanently delete so it's a good thing it's a good sign that you know excel ask you for that sometime you don't want to get you know you want don't want to delete the sheets but in a haste maybe you know or unknowingly uh, you may delete them and then you know that if you if you're going to delete the sheet then it cannot we cannot undo it right 
So I'm going to press Alt E L and this is how the sheets are going to be deleted. So remember these shortcut keys. Uh, let us just again do this Alt E L, Alt E L, Alt E L, Alt E L, Alt E L. So this is how you can delete the sheets in one step, right? Now I must tell you, um, I have just uh, one thing in my mind because you might be, uh, you know, getting this, this question might pop up in your mind that what if you want to delete the multiple sheets, right? So guys for that, suppose we want to delete sheet four, uh, maybe I want to delete all the sheets, let's say till this sheet 18. So select the sheet four and then press shift key and then afterwards press the last sheet, which is for me, this time is sheet 18. So the moment you do that, the shift will work. It is going to select all the sheets, you know, for you uh, and you don't have to basically go to every sheet, right? So now once you have all the sheet selection done, just do Alt E L and the sheets will be gone, right? And let me tell you one more thing. Uh, so you can say that, you know, uh, shift actually is used to do the multiple selections in a sequence. For example, if I select this name and I now press shift key and I select this cell, which is has a J, see what will happen. All the cells between this will be selected. If I select this and now I'm going to click here, you see that this is going to be selected. But what if you want to do the random things? For example, if I'm going to create now sheets, shift F11, let's say quickly. Now let us say that we want to delete sheet 32 and then 30 and then 28 and then 26 and so on. So you can't use the shift key because if, I, if I'm going to click here and now I'm going to press shift key and now I'm going to click here in sheet 26, all the sheets will be selected, which is wrong, right? So how we can do that? We can use instead of shift, we can use control. So I'll, I will be for the random selection. You always use the control. Now see what will happen. I have, first of all, I need to select the first sheet. I haven't pressed any key. Now I'll, I'm pressing my control key and I'm not going to release that till I am through with all my sheets. So control is pressed and now I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here, right? So this is how you can do your selection. Now, once my sheets are selected, I'll press Alt E L and the sheets will be gone, right? So let's take another look. Uh, what if you want to select the, you know, differences like this name and then I'm pressing control key and it is still pressed. I'm not going to release it. Now I'll click here. I'll click here. I'll click here, I'll click here, I'll click here. You see that with the help of the control key, I can do random selections like this, right? And now if I press delete, those selections will be deleted. Let me just undo it. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, this is going to be the part two. If you haven't watched the part one, do watch that because there also I have discussed very important essential shortcut keys and I hope you like this video and don't forget to click on the like if you really like the video. And yes, of course, don't forget to go on my website, excelvblower.com. And yes, if you have any questions, just write me in and I'll go ahead and upload the video, right? And do subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't subscribed, right? Thanks a lot and I'll come up with some more videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.